Hey guys. Um, so this is gonna be a different type of video. Um, so for people who don't know, I'm Haley Summers. I'm an artist. I um, just do artwork. We hang out. We sometimes chit chat. <laughs> um, and I'm also a seller on Redbubble, but I also buy stuff on Redbubble. And I thought that I would give these masks a month of using them. They're um, the fitted masks on Redbubble because their previous mask, this piece of tissue paper that they put on your mouth, um, they're not great quality if you get what I mean so I'm sure by now you've seen plenty of videos about these they're not good <laughs> um what's really weird is or also kind of annoying is that when you order these they come in like different fabrics so this one's my first one and it's a thicker fabric and um when I got these I'm like oh this isn't too bad like it's just one piece of cloth but like I have plenty of these like whatever it's fine and then I got I think the next one I got was these and they're like it's more like cottony and um if you breathe in too deep you kind of feel <laughs> you kind of feel like you're um uh, inhaling the mask here I'll put it on and show you And it like just barely covers your chin. Like, come on, dude. It's a really cute mask. My cousin made the design. <laughs> but um, I don't like the mask like at all. I like that it covers this way pretty nicely, but I don't like how my chin like peeks out so much or can like if I'm talking or something, I don't know. I work um, in customer service and I talk a lot, so that's kind of an issue, so I can't really wear these. Uh, they also, since they're just one fabric, they obviously don't have like a pocket or anything. None of them do, not even the fitted mask. Um, so if that's a problem for you, might as well get to step in. This video is gonna be a waste of your time. Um, this one is not the fitted mask either. And it's so loose, like, like, see how it does? Like, it's a little, it's just no. <laughs> I'm not fucking wearing this, I'm sorry. Next. Um, and then this one is the bigger one, and actually kind of the thicker one. It's the first one I got, the first of uh, the first batch. Mind you, these mask okay i didn't buy all these in the same um like order these were different orders this was one order this was one order and the one on the floor is another order just so we're clear um so like for i thought it was very weird that like every time i ordered one it was like a different kind of fabric i'm like home skillet can we get our shit together please anyways this is how this one feels how this one goes on the reason why this one was one of my favorites because it was pretty oh well actually it just fit nicer like i just liked how it sit on my face better but it's still no better it's not good quality or anything like that so as a red bubble seller i took these off my shop i don't think they're good i don't think they're worth anyone's money i know they're like i don't know 10 something depending on like um like what you put your like profit margin or whatever um but if it's defaulted it's like 10 something or whatever um they're not worth anyone's coin we're done um so when these came out i was really excited because i was like oh my god they decided to up their game awesome because masks are cool well masks are needed for the world we live in at the moment um but and it's so cool to have people's designs on them. And I used them for about a month because I kind of wanted an idea of how I felt about them before I 
did a video. <laughs> um, my masks are super dirty right now. I really need to clean them. Um, but I went to the stores with them. I would work with them. And these, this is kind of my thoughts. So this mask has, it has its little um, metal piece. So it conforms to your face, which is nice. Um, you can tell it's more than one fabric. I believe it's three because if you separate it, here there's a fabric i wish you can see the camera isn't picking it up i'm so upset there's a fabric here there's a fabric on the inside and then there's this one so there is three different fabrics they're not lying <laughs> i'm not going to cut it open for you because home skillet don't make that much money to be cutting these up okay i need these to work and these are like 20 dollars a pop like come on <laughs> Um, so you can buy like four and it gets like a four dollars off or something like that. But um so um they do not have they don't have a pocket for filters. So sorry home skillet. If that was very important for you, I'm sorry. No pockets, sorry. Um and then they have the adjustable straps. Um which okay this is nice okay this is nice i personally am not used to adjustable straps so when i first wore them this bead was super annoying like it hurt after like four and a half hours and i was like um this is not cool i don't like this <laughs> but um i think it's mostly just because i'm not used to it and maybe i was wearing them too tight which is possible um so there's that um something that i'm not super thrilled about which this might be a personal preference is that the mask still does not um cover my chin super nicely i don't know why this is like a peeve of mine but like it just bothers me that my chin can just pop out um but i'll show you how it looks on even though it smells like dirt and needs to be cleaned Okay. I don't want to talk with it on because it muffles your voice and I don't know how weird that's going to sound. Okay, so when I was looking at the camera, I was showing you how my glasses weren't fogging. Um, so here's the thing. These, gla these are really nice um, masks if you wear glasses. It's not that your glasses won't fog. It's that the way that it sits on your face, it's easier to manipulate the mask so that you have less issues. So for an example, um, I just, all I did was put it on my face and there was no fogging because that time it was just feeding air in a way that wasn't touching my glasses. Um, I know my boyfriend sometimes has issues when he wears these because he has glasses also. Um, but, and I sometimes have fogging issues too. I'm not saying this is bulletproof. What I'm saying is, <laughs> is that if you do have glasses, they're easier to manipulate for whatever reason. It's probably because of this piece right here. And it just feeds the air above your face a different way. So that's not fogging your glasses all the time. And that's something I actually really appreciate and like and why I actually wear these quite often because it's so annoying to wear a regular mask and wear your glasses like way down here because you don't want it fogging. like. I go to work wearing like regular medical masks like this and it's like it's annoying and then um but with this one for the most part my glasses can just sit where they're at like i don't have to worry about it so much um so that's a plus if you wear glasses 
they're not bulletproof, but they make it a whole lot easier to manipulate the mask and your glasses so that you're not getting this intense fogging. I don't know if it has anything to do with the type of glasses I'm wearing. Like they're kind of more open spaced, like they're not thick frames. So it's easier, maybe it's easier for the air to like escape. But um, overall, I really, I personally like it for that reason. Um, and the mask actually does, like when I went sideways, uh, the mask actually does cover my chin a lot more than I was thinking. Um, I actually really like that. I don't know why I was thinking that it doesn't um, cover that nicely, but it covers better than the other ones. Um, what I don't like is that it kind of, so like I'm wearing it and it like kind of flips up a little bit sometimes and it's just annoying. Like, I don't like it because it's like as if my air is escaping or air is coming in that shouldn't kind of thing. Um, so that's just um, personal preference, I guess, maybe, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much what I have to say about the mask. I've cleaned them um, two times like in the washer machine. So like they seem fine in the washer machine. I've cleaned, like I've done like hot water and stuff like that before um, with them also, but I mean in like in the like washer and dryer, they seem fine. They haven't like fallen apart or anything. Um, they don't seem to be fading a ton. This one actually has black, so you can actually see that it has faded a little bit. So maybe it's just their black dye isn't the best. Um, yeah, I don't know, it seems fine. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, they're really dirty on the inside because they keep getting on my car floor. It's so annoying. Like I hang them on the little like clicker thing and then they end up on the floor and it's so annoying. I really need to clean this one. This one's been on the floor for a hot minute. Um, I'm not putting it on my face, sorry. Um, this one's been in a uh, drawer because I actually use this one and bring it in the house. So anyways, that's kind of my little like review kind of thing on um, the Redbubble fitted mask specifically. Um, I am a seller and I am a buyer. I buy my, I buy people's gifts on Redbubble, um, on other people's stores. I make sure the art is their art. I go on things like tiny eye, like image reverse stuff to make sure it's not like somebody using a image that everybody's using. Cause then I'm like, I know it might be royalty free, but I'm trying to support other artists who's doing the art. Okay, Holmes. Anyways. Um, so this is my, um, kind of like review or whatnot. Um, I definitely prefer these. If you're a Redbubble um, seller, add these, get rid of the other ones. They're shit. Just don't. Like on one end, sure, it's Redbubble's like product, but you are trying to sell your stuff on Redbubble. And I feel like it doesn't help your image if you're promoting something that's not great, if that makes any sense. Um, so put these on, get rid of the other ones. Um, they're not perfect, but I think compared to the other masks, they're like a thousand times better. And honestly, I think Redbubble should just get rid of the other masks. Like why even bother at this point? Um, but maybe they want a little more affordable option. What I will say is these masks are these ones, these cheap ones. Um, if you don't, if you wear masks just because of the social aspect of it, so like you can't go into a store without one or whatever, then these are fine. They, you're wearing one, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, if you're actually wearing one because you care about like your health and like keeping your germs to yourself, kind of thing, um, then I would definitely advise at least getting these. I still don't know, like they're three layers, they work, but um, I don't know. 
just have a surgical mask, okay, guys? Just wear surgical masks. If you're that worried, just wear a surgical mask. But these are still pretty good. I'm just saying, if you're gonna, if, what I'm saying is, is if you're gonna get one on Redbubble, get these. Don't even bother with the other ones. They're a waste of money. It's just flimsy, sad fabric. We're done, okay? We're done. All right, anyways. So um, that's pretty much my video. Um, and I'm happy that you came and watched it and you clicked on it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, if you feel like it, you can like the video. Uh, you can comment for some engagement. That helps me. Um, and there's a subscribe button some down somewhere down there. Um, so if you click that red button that says subscribe, if you're on the computer, I don't think it's red anymore. It just says subscribe. <laughs> um, that'd be cool. I do a lot of art. I'm not really a review channel. It's just because I am a seller on Redbubble. I thought it would be a good idea to do this just for other people's awareness and whatnot. Um, and if you want to i'll have my links down below i have an ig uh, that's strictly for my art i have um a facebook page that's strictly for art i have my twitch account because i do live streams with my cousin we kind of just talk hang out we do some art listen to some tunes um and what's another thing oh my red bubble will be in that link because it's a link tree link so like you click on that link and it takes you to um, all these other buttons that you can press. And then you press that button. Like, let's say Redbubble is the top one. You click on that and it takes you to my Redbubble page. It's just a one linker to take you to all my other links. So I don't have to put like a million links in the description. So anyways, um, thank you for coming. I hope this was helpful. If it wasn't, I'm sorry. But um, when I was going to go buy these masks i was looking for reviews and i couldn't fucking find any so i was like you know what i'm gonna buy them wear them for a month and see how i like them um and i hope i see you guys in the comments and i hope i see you guys again so bye for now i guess